everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are back in the 1.18 Let's Play world. Of course, I am standing in my wheat field that is finally grown and it looks so good. Anyways, I have made some improvements, okay? First, I added some safety rails because, you know, I like to fly off there. But then, also... I added this little area and I think it is gorgeous. So it's not done. Obviously, there's a cliff right here. I tried to do some terraforming to make it look a little bit better, especially coming from up the stairs again. But this is our enchanting area and I think it looks so like magical and like whimsical. I love the spore blossoms and like the particles that just kind of like float around and like you can see them all around the area and it looks beautiful and then we have our like glow berries here and then we have our vines hanging and oh it just looks so gorgeous oh look there's a bee in here so cute but yeah so i really love it i did have the floor as like the blackstone like the blackstone bricks here but um i decided it was like a little bit too dark so i just replaced it with uh, some stone bricks, uh, polished andesite, and then mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks as well. And yeah, so I did do some enchanting. I totally forgot to like film it, but I got my first, like this is my first enchant and I got a fortune three pickaxe, which was, it, that is incredible, really. Like it was showing efficiency four, but so I was like, okay, whatever. And then I got fortune three. So how lucky is that? And then um, I was doing a whole bunch of wood chopping for this build that I didn't even end up eating wood for. So I made a diamond axe and I got efficiency four and unbreaking three as well. And just before I started recording, I checked what I could put on my chest plate and I can get protection four. So I think we go and find that skeleton spawner that we found i think in episode two one or two and make an xp farm so let's get to it oh i also made a few adjustments to my house as well so i just added these slabs here because i think it makes it look a little bit better and like not as flat <laughs> like it did before i know it's not really much of an upgrade but on the inside is where i spend most of my time so I just made a cute little kitchen. I still don't really know what to put on this side of the house. Like it's kind of small. I was going to make like a TV and make it look cute and whatever. But like it's really small and everything that I could make would be really bulky. So I, yeah, I just don't know. So I just put um, some shelves here. Well, these are trap doors, but I put them with a lantern on and then a potted plant, which is really cool because you can't do this on bedrock. And I used to play on bedrock and this is game changing. It's brilliant. Anyways, I made a cute little kitchen. I put a flowering azalea in a uh, pot. I put a hopper as my like, uh, what are these called? Vents? air vents stove vents i don't know <laughs> i don't remember what they're called but yeah and then i did put a campfire underneath the smoker so it can like kind of smoke up and be super cute and then i put a fish there frying up and i have my little sink this is my sink <laughs> or my faucet and then i have my uh fridge here which yes it's a little bit of a flex because these are iron blocks but like at this stage of the game i think of like our let's play I'm, I'm supposed to have a lot of iron <laughs> so yeah and then i just have like my random chest that i just kind of keep near the door so like if i'm running out to go adventuring or if i need to go shear the sheep or get some honeycomb then i can just go in here and grab the shears or a bed or whatever but yeah oh and then my bedroom up here i literally didn't know what to do so <laughs> i just put my bed here i put this banner here because i thought it would look like a headboard because I put this here to make it look like a footboard. It's a sign. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. But <laughs> you can let me know in the comments what you guys think. And I put my first diamond here in a glowing item frame. And then I put some art up. Put these here so it kind of rounded it out and gave it a little bit more shape. But yeah, that's really it for... <laughs> what i did <laughs> in the past couple days and this is what the roof looks like as well of the enchanting area i this is the first time that i've ever done like a circle like this and it was very challenging but it was also very fun so 
I hope you guys like it. I didn't follow any tutorial. I just kind of winged it and <laughs> it was kind of crazy. It took me a long time, but I'm glad I did it. But anyways, let's go to this to the skeleton spawner. So I forgot that I needed soul sand to make the uh, the, spi the the spawner, you know, the XP farm. So we have to go to the nether, but I don't have another portal right now. So let's go make one. I decided that I just want to just go into the nether really quick. And then once I'm done making the skeleton farm, then I will make, you know, <laughs> this all pretty. But for now, Let's go into the nether. I do have golden boots on. So here we go. I'm scared. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Actually, this is a really good spawn. I am very happy about that. Let's just uh, light this up a little bit. And then take down the coordinates really fast and then we can go exploring. We are on our mission to find a soul sand valley um, I'm going to leave the gold until I have a silk touch pickaxe so we can get the most out of it okay let's go this way oh I would definitely not survive that fall okay let's go this way yeah oh I thought he was gonna come after me these guys will <gasps> wait oh my goodness oh wow how lucky am I? Oh. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, so let's quickly get some soul sand and get out of here. I do kind of want to get a lot of soul sand so I can make soul sand like lanterns because I think that would look really cool in the enchanting little setup. Okay, get me out of here. Ow, I thought they just ran away. I didn't think that they got you. Oh no. That little baby stole my magma cream. Thank you. Oh, here it is. Perfect. And just like that, we can enchant. <laughs> Whew, that was that was gonna kind of stressful. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very kind, not very. It was kind of stressful. So since we have 30 levels from just mining some quartz in the Nether, I think it's time to get protection five. No, sorry, protection four. But we will eventually get protection five on the chest plate so let's see what we also get so hopefully let's hope wow not bad thorns two and i'm breaking three that's actually pretty good pretty good for me all right well let's put her on look at that we're looking nice and shiny oh i have to change my boots first lol hold on a minute what you doing little bee okay now let's go get making this farm whoa okay a lot of time has passed but we finally made the skeleton spawner as you can see up behind me they are spawning in and look at this wow i'm so proud of myself this is my second xp farm that i've made like this and i'm very happy i didn't think it was gonna work because there's a lot of like extra stuff around the spawner but it works it's beautiful. We're getting lots of XP. We are in a mine shaft, so this room was luckily already carved out for us. So I'm planning on putting like a little enchanting area here. I also want to put a little nether portal here too. So hopefully it'll be easier to find this location from our nether portal spawn because it is quite the hike and it is right through a cave and it's also it's very scary trying to get here. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make another nether portal and then try and link those two up from the one at my house and then the one here. So it'll be so much easier. Anyways, I think I'm going to AFK here for a little bit just so we can go back and enchant some gear maybe or maybe some more tools. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so we're literally like probably one little XP orb away from 
being at level 40. So let's go ahead and kill these guys. Look at this, ready? That's incredible! Wow, since we're in like a cave and it's, yeah, there's glow squid. <laughs> so I guess it's a glow squid farm too, so that's cool. So I just have to take uh, the coordinates for like right here basically. And then we should start to find our way back out to the surface. And then I can get some materials to make like the nether or the, yeah, the nether portal. <laughs> and then we can also kind of like spruce it up a little bit. Maybe we will, you know, make it look pretty. Put some glow berries down here. Make another enchanting area just so we don't have to keep running back and forth. But yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, so I made it back home wasn't that hard i just like um i just stared up a little bit i ended up in a river so i had to kind of maneuver my way around but we made it as you can see and with my new 40 levels i think i'm going to enchant my pants now so let's go ahead and see what we can get protection one protection two and then unbreaking three should we risk it for unbreaking three yeah we have a okay well blast protection is not bad you know, I do hate creepers, so it's fine. We can eventually re-roll everything too, but having something is better than nothing. So I think that we should, you know, get the obsidian to uh, make this nether portal now. So we can get easy access to our skeleton spawner. So that is where I basically came out of the ground. <laughs> so I just left a little cobblestone. Hello, cobblestone column there just for now until we have our nether portal all set up <laughs> so i can easily find it again i don't have to go through that cave because that's scary thankfully we have some uh golden boots we'll just leave these ones in there for now in we go not gonna lie this is really scary. Okay, I don't like ghasts. Okay, we'll see, we'll, we'll dig up and go from there. Okay, so we have a direct path now from our skeleton spawner to our house. I mean, it's not really direct. <laughs> I'm really bad with coordinates in this game, but basically you just go in here, gotta make a cheeky couple turns. Also, I think these guys are mad at me. They're not mad at me. Never mind. I can't. There we go. And then you just go like down here. I'll make it a little less painful to get down here, but you get the gist of it. And then we don't go this way. <laughs> and then ta-da! We're here. At the skelly spawner. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. Sorry, I probably got really close to the mic there. <laughs> but I'm so proud of myself. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I, It's a little bit faster going through the nether, but it's also, I feel like it might be the same <laughs> um, time to go over in the overworld. But we'll try and make it a little bit better in uh, the nether so it's a little bit more efficient. But... Yeah, you guys, we did it! Yay! I'm gonna take my iron boots back. Thank you. Look how much stuff we have already. Like, it's beautiful. Beautimous. Anyways, I think we should go back home and uh, see what we can get up to. And just like that, we're back at home seeing what we can get up to. <laughs> so we're just making the nether portal look a little bit prettier. Nothing too crazy yet. Uh, I didn't want to spend too much time on this um, right now just because we have other priorities. But yeah, look at this replay mod footage. Isn't it beautiful? Like, I think I'm starting to understand it. It's still confusing. Like, I don't know what I did to do this and why it looks way better than on my other footage <laughs> from the replay mod. But we're learning. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Anyways, I really enjoyed 
making this and very proud of myself for how much I built this episode and how productive I was this episode and I wasn't just running around aimlessly like I always do <laughs> in other episodes but anyways look at this portal I do add some more finishing touches later on but you'll see that in a bit look at that cute okay you guys so i made my little nether portal like entrance area it's very basic um i might jazz it up a little bit later on but this is what i could think of on the spot and you know it just looks a little bit better than just a random nether portal so of course over time i will make it look a lot better i'll probably put like a chest here or something or like hide a chest somewhere so i can keep like gold boots and stuff and stuff like i need for the nether but other than that right now it looks really cute i put the soul lanterns i think i put too many but i mean it still looks cool i also decided to put some soul lanterns in the enchanting area like i wanted to as well so uh it looks a little it looks so nice it looks so like magical and i really love it but i think that's all the time that we have left in this episode today i hope you guys enjoyed i really enjoyed making all this stuff today and actually being productive so let me know if you like our enchanting area and how like whimsical it looks and also let me know how you like our new nether portal little entrance area but with that being said i'll see you in the next episode goodbye